So it is September 13th, 2021, 7.30 p.m. and I call this meeting of the Needham Design Review Board to order. I'm the board chair, Mark Lusing. I would like to confirm that all members and applicants are present and can hear me. So members, when I call your name, please respond. Bob Dermody. Here. Chad Riley. Here. Steve Tanner. Here. And also attending are our town staff support, Ron Amana Dorfer and Elisa Lichman. Uh, the applicants on the agenda, please respond when I call out your project, 33 4th Avenue and Prestige Home Care and also United Property Restoration Services. Tim Parker here. Hi, Tim. Good evening. So good evening. Welcome to this open meeting of the Needham Design Review Board, which is being conducted remotely, consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of a COVID-19 virus. The order allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. For this meeting, Needham Design Review Board is convening by Zoom app as posted on the town's website and DRB page, identifying how the public may join. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation participation unless such participation is required by law. DRB meetings do not typically allow public comment. All the supporting materials that have been provided to the members of this board are available on the town's website. Public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair notes otherwise. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other people may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer unless the chair approves. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking. I would like to review the remote meeting procedures for tonight's meeting. I will introduce each applicant on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will take comments or questions from the design review board members. After discussion, each vote will be by roll call vote. The building department requires electronic submission of building permit applications. A copy of the application stamped and noted for the type of approval that it receives will be emailed to the applicant by the DRB support staff. That can then be attached to your building permit application. We'll now start with the first and only items on the agenda. So this is the 33 4th Avenue, applying for two signs. Uh, I think Tim, why don't you just go ahead? We can talk about them both together and then okay. see if there are yes. any questions separately. Yep. So they're actually, so the reason there's two, just to so make sense, they're the same owner. So currently he owns Prestige Home Care and has opened a franchise of United uh, Environmental Restoration Services. So he will be the owner of both uh, businesses inside the same office, hence the two signs. So that's the first part. Both signs have been designed in the same manner. So they are uh, acrylic, either painted or vinyl faced, uh, pin mounted flush to the brick. Um, the original sign, which was Univision, which was this building before, was a four by eight uh, sort of light box version, metal box and was 32 square feet. And that's in the picture. Alyssa was good enough to help me correct a couple of things. Uh, I think it was on Friday or Monday regarding a photo of the whole building, which we didn't really have a great one of on the first submission. So I think you all have an updated photo of the building. Is that correct? Yes, thanks, Bob. So you'll see where the original sign was. We're putting the two new signs in the same location. We total, I'm gonna do my math here, 11 and 15. We total 26 square feet minus the space in between for both signs and the previous sign before was 32 square feet, which is the max. The overall space on that facade is 143 inches wide by 112 inches tall. And the reason it's to the left is you can tell in the picture that we have, there's a large hedge right by the door, which is 55 inches tall. So it kind of divides the facade in half top to bottom. Any initial questions? All right, we can uh, take a look at these together. I will open up the discussion. Um, Steve, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I, I think um, there's something not right. It, it looks a little big, like 
if you look at the photo of the existing sign, it's just barely below that that bush, uh, that that hedge with, with a rounded shape to it, and this sign, the two signs here, come quite a bit below, and it, it like well, takes up takes up more than half the height of the whole wall, and I just think it, it it's it's whether or not Prestige logo was just made the same size as the United Circle, whether that would do it, or whether they need to be reduced globally, but I think this needs to be some reduction. So regarding okay. the hedge, if I may, or should I wait for all the comments? Uh, no, go ahead. I think the hedge is a very old picture, so the hedge is smaller, obviously, because it will grow. We've used, basically, we've just moved it over and shifted it up to the left corner where the other one was lower down and a little bit further over, a little more centered because the hedge wasn't near as big. We could ask them to potentially trim the hedge down a bit to open up the facade a bit. They were going to remove it all together initially during well, our first meetings. That's so not just that. Is causing if you look at a box to the right on the corner, on the right-hand side, that looks like a key box. That mm -hmm. almost like lines up with the top of Prestige. And, uh, and the other picture, that box is, you know, on the lower quarter of the sign. Okay. Uh, and, and so whether the hedge may have changed some small dimension in time, but it's just a point of reference. I still think the sign is taking up more than half of that wall and it just looks too big on there, even though the square footage okay. I is understand. less. That's yep, just I understand. an opinion open for discussion. Okay, thanks, Steve. Um, Bob? Bob's muted. A little rusty, thanks. Um, okay. Thanks, Tim. Uh, looking at the documentation here, uh, it, uh, on each page, we're given the sign at the top of the page with the dimensions of each individual sign. So like 78 by 28 and 78 by 21. Correct. But what about dimensions on the wall? Like how far down from the top and how far over from the left? And I see one dimension like 81.6 from top of sign to ground, but it doesn't, I guess that's the United sign. Yeah. Um, but do you see what I'm getting at? It'd be to help I us, I think. And I think it's what Steve is getting at too, is where is this in the wall? And you know what's the purport? I don't think that's to scale the proposed signage image. So that's my question. How? What's the gap on the left? And do the two circles align? The purple circle? And yeah, they the, do. It, the 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 bottom circle is a uh, clear acrylic with a decal and RTA on it because their logo for that is not paintable, and the RTA is too small to make three D. So to show the brick through it, we've done a clear. So the left side's justified for the United and the circle for uh, prestige. Is the uh, I'll throw something out here. It just strikes me that there's something, it's kind of busy and I don't know, there's something that's off here to me. Could those circles be the same diameter? Like the purple and the, the one below? I mean, would that help at all? Does anybody think? And I know they're different companies with different logos, but is there something limiting the size of either circle? Would it? Would it be better to reduce, just I'm throwing this out just to sort of yeah. take both. Maybe Prestige is too big and reduce down the size of Prestige to match the size of United. So it would only be, um, the height would be different, which would probably make the circles. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, instead, of, uh, instead of using the width, or do you prefer the width looking the same over the height? Because their logos, because of the way in which things are located, um, we sort of have to go with one dimension to match. So we did width, and then that automatically made the heights a certain way. Understood. It doesn't, it's not, okay, so the widths do align. It, I think it's just because of the way it's Photoshopped on here. It's always a little distorted. Yeah, and the clear one doesn't help it matters, to be honest. It doesn't really, yeah. Show, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I have for now, Mark. Okay, Chad. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to respond to the locations, the sides, the tops, and the left? If you know yeah, it. Well, we're, we're, we're two and a half bricks down from the top. 
So if a brick is two and three quarters, take or leave. So we're about five to six inches down from the top. And we're a brick in from the left, which is about eight inches, take or leave. If that helps you out. Yep. And this future reference, that's the kind of thing. Put that right on the drawing next okay. time. Okay, certainly. Thanks. Happy to. Yes, of course. Chad. Pardon me, I'm going to go off screen to grab a pen. Just excuse me a second. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm understanding the sign construction. So like in Prestige, mm -hmm. is that in like the word home care, H-O-M, is each one of those an individually mounted letter? That is correct. Okay, and so it's really the the circle that's the clear part, and then yes, is the is, is the green horizontal line the green like will, abutted up to the circle? It it butts up to the, the right edge of the circle, so it'll be cut with a little contour and or a concave end. And the G yeah. and the line are one piece, but obviously painted two different colors. Yeah, my sense is if the um, if the purple circle in United and the the sort of inner logo of prestige a sort of gray um outline circle with a house in it mm -hmm. if, if that sort of gray circle was the same diameter as the um the purple circle that in reality if the if it's mostly like a clear surround that's what you're going to see more and that that um might uh, make the two look like they've got a little bit more proportional relationship and i suspect that it might make sense that if instead of aligning the left hand edge if the center lines of the circles lined up and then as they kind of you know as united or prestige kind of evolved to the left if they were slightly different you wouldn't notice that as much but it might just look a little bit more mm -hmm. um balanced if the if the center lines of the circles were, were in line okay um I, you know my my sense is like i i I kind of hear what Steve is saying at the same time, like, you know, the, with the overall prestige sign, the square footage of that sign itself is, where'd that go? Uh, it's, you know, 15 and a half square feet. It's not not a, a huge sign by any stretch. I think the other one was... Uh, the other one's 11 and some change. Yeah, yeah. But they're not big signs in and of themselves. Uh, so, it's, I mean, that... Just given the size and how small the text is going to be, that one doesn't bother me so much, but I, I could be persuaded. But I think that's, um, you know, and I don't mind the fact that they're kind of doing slightly different things that, you know, they read differently. So that, you know, underscores that they're two different businesses. But I think that's my sense is those two sort of diameters are the same size and the center lines um, lined up, then, then it would look a little more balanced. Okay. Hey Mark, I have one thing else I'd like to say. The, the, the clear sign, the text, uh, I can't really read what it says, but it's like not a, the diameter of that is different than the diameter of the circle. It really doesn't, uh, the radius wasn't constructed right. I'm sorry, would you repeat that? See the text underneath the, the center of the prestige logo? Yes. And how it, its relationship to the outside of the circle, right? The the they don't have the same radius point. No, well, they don't. It's not a perfect circle. We put it on a circle to make it match the United. So if they, if you if you had their logo, that's the actual logo. So that circle's not part of their logo, right? No, we had that. We added the circle because there was no way to put the small a division of, which is the subtext. Um, in in 3D letters on the building, it would be well. You could cut them out of like a, a you know one eighth plastic and put them up with double sided tape. Well, it's a brick facade. A circle, I'm not. I mean, it's a brick facade with multiple layers. I'm not so sure how long they'll last. There'll be very well, little surface area. They, on make, the they of the make quite a few good adhesives nowadays. I've seen that done before. I, yeah, I don't know how legible it will be. They'll be so small with the black next to the brick, and that's their logo. I mean, they're really small. So I mean, then why, the question is, why is it even there? It's in, you're not going to read it from anywhere unless you walk up to that wall. Well, that's just their logo that was provided. I understand it's just their logo, but it's yeah. that's a logo on a letterhead and on an internal sign. You know, we've, we have this discussion a fair amount that... Okay. Of printed logos that you really need to they don't always translate into good signs so 
I guess that's my question here. Is that really necessary in some way for them? Um, uh, I'm not sure of that, but I have an option regarding all that's been said. What if we offered to, if that was removed and we got rid of the larger uh, circle and the gray circle, which is what I think Chad was saying was the same size as the purple circle. In other words, we, we would have, we would still have an acrylic back. So it would be clear and we could paint it gray. So it's not clear on the sides. We could paint it a matching trim color to the background of the decal that would be on top and lose the lettering altogether. Uh, I, I would be fine with that. Uh, I think, but I think the other thing I just want to point out is I think that, that the gray image is a bit of an oval, not a circle, correct? Yes. Which is why those radii don't work. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that. Um, it has a little star point to the top, just in case. Yeah, I saw you can see that. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Bob. Uh, yeah, if I can jump in, um, I concur with what, or I agree, Tim. I would uh, welcome that change of eliminating the uh, small words, a division of blue and gold partners LLC, and the black outer circle proposed. I think that's better. Um, I just did a Google search and looked up the logo, so it does. It makes more sense why it's that shape, I guess. Yep. So I had a question about the green line. Yes. Um, on the logo on the web page, I'm looking at it ends at a different place than on the sign proposed. Oh, it's a gradient on the website. It's white all the way to the end, so it's a gradient from dark green all the way to white. And for production value and to be able to do that without vinyl because the G and that are together so that, that we could paint it one color, they opted to go with the solid green. Okay, fine with the color, but what about where it ends? It's kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't line up with anything on the sign. It's the, I, I, all I've ever seen is the logo they provided. That's the end of the white portion of the gradient. I mean, I can question that to make sure it ends where something else is, but I well, maybe, <laughs> maybe I just don't like the logo. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let me just, this was very difficult. We, this is, this yep. was the best intonation of, of the probably 20 versions of things we try to get them things to okay. go with. It, I don't have a particular question. issue with the asymmetry of that. I think that's yeah. okay. okay. Um, I guess I would let it go. Say if, uh, if Chad is, more comfortable with it if it does not have the secondary plastic circle and we move that lower line of typeface on the logo and we do and we get them to match up in size and alignment i think i think those points would uh improve it yeah yeah and then that would move it up a bit and i think it would take up less of the, less of the wall and be much better excellent okay so There are two signs, so we will take them separately. I would take, uh, accept a motion to approve the United Care at Work sign as submitted. So moved. Seconded. Uh, and we come to the vote. Bob Dermody. Aye. Chad Riley. Aye. Steve Tanner. Aye. The chair approves. So on the prestige home care sign, I would take a motion. Give me one sec. Uh, um, Mark, can I ask a quick question before you ask? Sure. The, yep. Are we still centering the two circles since they're going to be um, because the lengths will be off. Are we still going to center the two circles so they're underneath each other, or will we left justify them since they're going to be the same size now? I would, I would prefer left justify. What do you think, Chad? Uh, left justify is probably fine. I mean, um, I, I think if they're the, the, almost the same size circle, then they're, the center line is going to be aligned anyways once yeah. we get rid of the outer one. So. Well, and the rest of the bodies of the sign are different, so... Uh, yeah, they, they work different off the circle, so I sort of feel like we line them up. Okay, great, thank you. So I would take a motion to approve the prestige home care sign, with the conditions that the remove the clear plastic backing and the lettering below the 
image in the logo, a division of Blue and Gold Partners, LLC, uh, that the, so the image logo size matched the size of the purple United Care at Work circle, and that they align uh, left justified above, in, above each other or below each other. I make that motion as stated. Seconded. Okay, we come to the vote. Bob Dermody. Yes. Chad Riley. Approved. Steve Tanner. Approved. And the chair approves. All right, thanks, Tim. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you thanks, next Tim. time. Thank yep. you. Have a great evening. Appreciate your time. You too. Next items are the minutes from a couple of earlier meetings. We still do not have a quorum of the people who attended on August 9th available. So we will have to postpone that again. We could let, we could just make Elisa a, what do they, what do they do? Proxy, we gotta get you proxy rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would look at the uh, minutes from August 30th, 2021. Uh, are there any modifications or comments? Uh, I'll abstain. I believe I was uh, not present that evening. Yes, I have checked off who can vote. So, all right, yeah. so we come to the vote uh, to motion to approve the minutes of August 30th, 2021. I make said motion. Seconded. Okay, we come to the vote. Um, Chad Riley. Approved. Steve Tanner. Approved. And the chair approves. Okay. That's our official business. Uh, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Seconded. I will come to the vote. Bob Dermody. Yes. Chad Riley. Approved. Steve Tanner. Approved. And the chair approves. So that might be a new record. Uh, let me 